Here I am in the beautiful Blue Mountains National Park. Um, the first weekend of the trout season just opened um, this weekend, long weekend. Um, so gonna do a bit of trout fishing um, along one of the uh, most popular uh, rivers here. I won't tell you its name, I'm sure you can work it out. But um, I've just come down uh, the track here, but um, didn't realize that uh, the river goes through private property on this side so being a good citizen I think what I'm going to do is um, try and cross the river um, to the other side which there is actually a uh, like a, a, a track there but um, like the river's so so high and flooded um, I'm going to have to cross somehow so this looks quite calm I'm not sure how deep it is so I'm just going to take my pants off and have a bit of a walk through and see how um, see how deep it actually is and uh, whether or not I can cross through with my pack maybe try and lift it over the head and um, slowly make my way through anyway I'll try and record it but um, it's a bit slippery around here so I'll, uh, I'll suss it out but no promises unless I try and cross over there
dinosaur band. Okay, so I walked past this uh, section earlier. Um, looks like a really nice camp spot. Camp spot. Um, so I was thinking just over there, um, even around here somewhere, is pretty nice. Got a nice little sandy bank. Um, there's a bit of shore. Mm, maybe not the best. Um, section there's a few dead branches so I'll go back to my original spot which was just over here right next to the river on a nice little sandy bank heaps of firewood around so that oh look there's another bone here I wonder what sort of bone that is from a cow maybe I don't know it looks too big for a for a kangaroo or something so this is the section here so I've got I've got my tarp with me today and um, and my bug net as well so I've got a ground sheet a bucket ground sheet and um, a bug net and I might just put the tarp over the top of that so this is what I was thinking nice and flat ground here on a sandy bank got heaps of shelter no dead branches uh, potential for a nice little fire fire pit over here somewhere I've got some rocks to sit on um, hopefully there's no spiders or snakes around it should be pretty good I reckon that's what I might do I'll, I'll pitch up here Shelter's up, first to get a work. Well, the weather's holding up too. There's some clouds coming over, but hopefully they'll just pass through. There was 50% um, chance of rain in the forecast, weather forecast, so hopefully the um, rain stays away. Um, if it does rain, I think it's only about up to about uh, a mill or something, so uh, nothing too heavy, just a little sprinkle, so I can deal with that. But yeah, the shelter's up, that's the main thing. I'm gonna blow up the, um, the, the mattress, collect some firewood, just get it ready, just in case if it does rain. I'll put it um, uh, under the shelter there, keep it nice and dry, and then I might have a bite to eat, and then eventually get a line wet which is what I've been waiting for all this time. Anyway, here's to you. Ah, 
So this is the Nemo insulated um, insulated mat, a regular size. Uh, I don't know if you saw in my previous videos, um, I did have the Mummy in the Nemo, and uh, I've got a really big uh, gash into it. Um, not sure how I did it, but um, yeah, I did it regardless. But uh, I like the the Nemo mattresses so much. I went and bought myself uh, another one but this time not a mummy just a normal sort of square shape in a regular um, it is insulated uh, they are quite comfortable I, yeah I prefer these I used to use the, um, the self-inflating insulated thermos mats um, yeah had them like for donkey's ears but ever since I tried this one oh, I can't I can't turn back now it's so comfortable and it even comes with its own own pump. You know what I didn't bring? I didn't bring a pillow. All right, this is my sleeping bag. It's a Mont uh, Nagy, Nagy. Um, can't remember how warm it is. I think it's like minus, in the minuses, could be a minus two or minus six. Um, but yeah, Mont, they really, really good gear they're a bit pricey but I mean when it comes to quality they know their stuff I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take the, the sleeping bag out I'm just gonna put it in the bug net um, when I'm ready for bed tonight I'll unwrap it I'll take it out of the, the stuff bag um, then because I just don't want any creepy crawlies any spiders crawling into the sleeping bag and get a nice little surprise So that's it, I've got the sleeping system all sorted, um, so I might get a bite to eat and collect a little bit of, quickly collect some firewood, um, I, won't, I won't chop it up or saw it down, I'll just quickly grab it and um, make a small little pile, uh, have some lunch and then I'm looking forward to getting the, the line wet, hopefully cat, catch some, some trout. On the way in, I, um, when I was doing some creek crossings and all that, I saw some rainbow trout which you know like in the little the little creek so it's a good sign hopefully um i'll catch something here the the river here the main river here is a little bit murky so i don't know whether that's going to be a factor but you know the most important thing is uh being out here and you know just enjoying the um mother nature getting the lion wet um even if i do catch a fish i do have um dinner prepared so i probably won't even um, keep the fish. Um, I'll probably just uh, catch and release, unless you know. I don't know. I catch something tomorrow and maybe take take one home with me if it's a uh, reasonable size. But anyway, we'll see how we go. Anyway, get some firewood and a uh, bite to eat. Oh yeah, look at this stuff here. No, oh, that's wet. Oh yeah, look at all this stuff. This will make for good tinder. Look at this, beautiful, nice and dry. Uh, a little bit damp, but should be, should work. Yep, that's enough. Wood, I reckon.
nice little surprise. Adriana, Adri, and Mosa. Thank you. What a nice surprise. <laughs> I didn't pack that by the way, so Adriana, my sweetheart, she must have um, slipped it in while I wasn't watching. <laughs> Thanks Adriana. It's those small things. for lunch I've just got a sandwich um, once again thanks Adriana she got up early to, to make me this sandwich so let's see what we've got here it's a little bit squashed tomato cheese turkey and pastrami oh delicious thanks Adriana Ain't what it used to be.
apparently the trout haven't heard about the season being open. Come on, man. Bloody hell. Alright, so no fish, um, not even a single bite, um, yeah luckily I didn't have to rely on catching my dinner tonight otherwise I would have gone a bit hungry. Luckily I've come prepared, um, I've got a ribeye steak, if you've seen uh, the last couple of videos I've done similar type of um, dinner. It's just one of those things once you've done it once, it's like you want to do it over and over again every opportunity you get. So. Um, before I get stuck, I want to get the fire going, get the coals pumping. Um, yeah, so the the coals are nice and hot for my nice, beautiful ribeye steak. Looking forward to it.
don't know if you can see me, but there we have it. Fire! <laughs> Get a load of that. Beautiful. Ah, oh, yes. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh. Another three more minutes, I reckon. Check that out, viewers. Look at that, beautiful. Can't beat it. Ribeye on the boat. Can't in a steak with a good choice. All right, so I've just polished off the um, the the dinner, the ribeye steak. Man, I'm telling you. Well, I've told you a few times, but I'm going to say it again, mate. You've tried it once. And I tell you, you won't go back. Um, ribeye on the bone. Um, I bought mine from Haverick Meats. Um, it's local in my area, area. And they sell to, um, to the public on the weekends. I'm telling you, you haven't experienced like the great outdoors. If you love your meat, if you're a carnivore, um, ribeye on the bone on open fires out in the wilderness, it makes you feel alive. That's all I can say. Anyway, um, on that note, I'm going to sign out and um, wake up early in the morning and give this um, fishing business uh, another crack. Hopefully, I'll be able to catch something in the morning. I'm pretty disappointed. Didn't even get a single bite. But anyway, that's how it goes sometimes. So for now, good night and um, see you in the morning. Good morning. Oh, had an awesome sleep. Really comfortable. Uh, only woke up, woke up I think once during the night just to go to the toilet. Um, yeah, splendid sleep. Oh, well, I'm gonna get up. Um, probably have some breakfast first. Do a little bit of fishing, pack the tent up, and then make my way, make my way back home. Oh, it's been such a good trip. So well needed. Uh, right, Got to get breakfast ready.
That'll get going now. So for breakfast, we've got Suda Connects. Been hot. That's done. Freshly baked sourdough. Baked that yesterday, the day before actually. So this is it. This is it, guys. This is my breakfast. It's a little bit bad.
So guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm gonna finish off my breakfast, do a bit of fishing. I'm not gonna really record anymore. I'm running out of um, running out of battery and uh, disk space, storage space. So if I catch anything, I might um, film it um, after, like if I catch anything, film the fish. But apart from that, I'm gonna put the tent down after I do a bit of fishing and slowly make my way back home. Uh, thanks again for watching and uh, if you like this sort of stuff um, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like and share um, every little bit helps. I'm just trying to build up my um, social media profile with this sort of stuff so any sort of help would be uh, greatly appreciated. Anyway, my breakfast is getting cold so um, I'm going to dig in. All the best guys. Yeah, so no fish, no fish mate. Um, lucky I didn't have to rely on what I caught um, for dinner, otherwise I would have been starving. That was just my favorite, not take two. Yeah, so um, no fish mate. Uh, um, so uh, before it gets dark I might light the fire get the coals ready for the the nice juicy steak from <laughs> yeah so no fish no fish mate um, anyway before it gets dark I want to get the fire going um, get the coals nice and hot for the juicy steak uh, uh, from Havoc Meats um, it's not a small little plug in there 
But yeah, before it gets dark, get the fire going, um, get the coals ready, da 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 da. Alright, so no fish, not even a single bite. Oh, man, lucky I didn't have to rely on um, catching my dinner tonight, otherwise I would have gone a bit starving. And um, yeah, can't, you can't go wrong. Anyway, um, before it gets dark, what I want to do is get the fire going, get the coals pumping, um, and then, you know, uh, get it ready for, for the... Um, anyway, uh, before it gets dark, I want to get the fire going, um, get the coals pumping so it's nice and hot, um, and ready for, for, the, for the steak for dinner. Um, anyway, I'll, uh, I'll catch you up when I get the fire going and um, hopefully, uh, whatever. Come over the state, we've had a good old Shiraz. Ah, the one. Come over the state with a good old Shiraz. Ah, the one. Can't have a uh, ah the wine. You can't forget that. Can't have a Shiraz. Can't have a steak. Can't have a steak with a good Shiraz. <laughs> 